like that. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. But he ain't get away with it. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification game, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to my guy, Showtime SP. He'll be by real soon, too. We got some things that we need to talk about. But something that I'm going to talk about that I wasn't going to let waste no time. I let it sit. I worked last night. I came home. I thought about some things. You know what I'm saying? Blocks on the strip. Glocks on the hip. Cock in the fifth. Battle rappers going up, you know, stock rising, lowering, stocking ish, and all that positive shit. But today, Easy the Black Captain is with the total opposite shit. And I ain't mad at him. I'm gonna talk about his blog yesterday if you have not seen his blog yesterday. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before we even go any further, in the pinned comment, you will see the link to the rap grid for his pay per view. I did speak to him, I did watch his blog, and, um, I will put the ticket link there if you guys want the ticket link. I'm trying to hold him. I'm trying not to laugh today because a lot of this stuff that he's talking about, a lot of these things that he's seen, I have seen before or heard in some magnitude, right? It's like a revolving circle, right? So um, he's, a, he's going online and he's going on a tangent, a rant, basically talking about the battlers who backed off his car, talking about P from URL, the recruiter ball, the recruiter ball. Burned him down. Uh, talked about the favor balls. We need a favor. We need a favor. Uh, I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about the hitman. But I'm going to talk about all of this shit. You know why? Because you like this type of shit. Y'all do. Y'all say y'all don't. But when I talk about this, this will do more views than the recaps. I recap Twerk versus uh, Chef Trez. I recap Jerry West versus Foots. Then you can scroll down my channel. You should maybe go watch them. But this right here, me talking about this shit right here is going to do more views than both of them. Probably combined. Yes, sir! This nigga spitting! Damn, nigga! You know why? Because you niggas love negativity. So let's get right into it. And if you and if you don't, you can cut the video off and leave now. But you're not going to leave because you want to hear what we have to say. So let's start with the bloggers. Um, Easy to block Captain was talking about the bloggers and shit like that. Saying that, you know, different bloggers get their information from P from URL. Well, I'll go on record and say... I spoke to P maybe a couple months ago. Like, we don't have an issue, but I'll tell you, because there's some people who don't, don't know where my issue came from with these niggas, but I'll tell you about it too. Um, I ain't spoke to P. I don't talk to P. I don't jump on the phone and talk to P every single day. Like, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Because P did bullshit with me, you know what I mean? Like, well, let's just get it started. I used to work with P like five or six years ago when the war report was around, if you don't know. And I decided that I wanted to create my own channel because I wanted to do my own channel. If I'm lying, I'm flying. If I'm lying, if I tell one lie today, P, if I tell one lie, y'all prove the lie, I'll delete this channel. If I tell one lie, right? So I wanted to do my own thing, you know what I mean? And I was like, you know, I didn't see, I didn't like the direction it was going. Niggas was like a little lazy and shit like that. And I wanted to drop content every day. Like I was, and we're going to get to that too because that messed up a lot of my relationships because I was such a great flexer. People thought I had money before I had it, but let, we'll get back to oh, that. Yeah. But I, I, once I got the Rolex, and I was like, yo, this is crazy. Now like, I was like, yo, every day I could drop one joint, two joints, three joints a day. And niggas really wasn't moving at my wavelength, so I made my own channel. On my own channel, I started doing my own videos. I wanted to make my own money. My son was on the way. I remember, I swear, I remember this shit vividly. Niggas all jumped in the group chat, right? Yo, from this day on, if you want to be affiliated with us, you can't work on your own channel no more. Y'all got to work here, booty booty boo, strictly us. And mind you, these niggas is not paying me. I never made a dollar with any of these niggas, right? None of them. None. Nobody. I never made one single dollar with any of these niggas. From P to URL to J Black. All these niggas that you be, that niggas think I hate, but I don't, right? So I never made no money with these niggas. What kind of shit is here? So I'm doing my own thing on my own channel. I just want to do my own thing. P calls me on the phone. I swear to God he called me. Yo, 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 we hear what you're doing, we hear what you're saying. Uh, if you keep that up, we have a plan to get you out. That's what he said, we have a plan to get you out of here. And I'm like, yeah, if niggas is moving like this, like you have a plan behind my back, behind the scenes to try to get rid of me and shit. How did that work? How did that work, P? <laughs> Ask 
yourself, how did that work? Five, six years later, nigga, I was just on TV and I'm about to be back on that bitch again, but we're not about to get into that right now. How did that work? That bullshit that you pulled. And guess what? It didn't go nowhere. I'm still here. Still got 45 million views. I still got people that I pay to work for me. So I've seen this story before, you know what I'm saying? Where niggas try to control you, make you stay somewhere, make you do something. And I told niggas my son was on the way and niggas didn't give a fuck. Well, they didn't give a fuck about none of that. You're going to work over here, you're going to do what I say, or we're going to eliminate you. That's what they do. They try to push niggas out the door. Trust me, they ain't try to make niggas disappear. You've seen it. We've seen it a hundred times, right? So I know that a lot of the shit they easy saying, this shit is true. I'm not even, not even, so I want to start with myself so I can give you a first person perspective. And even with all the bullshit that P do behind the scenes and all this shit, I still don't harbor no resentment because I look at every single part of my career as a part that helped me get to where I'm at right now. Like I said, I was just on TV. It didn't take URL to get me there. It didn't take P, it didn't take none of these niggas. It took my own work. And when I get back there in a few, it's gonna be because of me and my work and SP's work, not these niggas. So P's the first line of defense and he will go to extreme lengths of sucker shit to get niggas out of here. You've seen Spanish Harlem's complaints. You've seen this, you see the artist complaints. You see this shit all the time. So when I see things like he sent text messages to Charlie Clay. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at the levels these niggas will stoop to for stupidity. I am not surprised at all. Bro, really? Yeah. Why? Why not? But they use this brand. They put the brand in front of them trying to make it seem like, you know, we're the biggest brand. They are the biggest brand, but they do a lot of sucker shit. It is what it is. Like, come on, dog. You tell people they can't come to events. You give niggas headaches when they come to it. Like, the artist, the own artist, you tell an artist that if they battle on Easy's car, they can't come to your events. Basically, niggas was getting threatened behind the scene. Like, yo, you got to get off e card or y'all can't come back over this type of joint. Or to the point I'm hearing in the back that these niggas was threatening niggas to, they couldn't even come to events no more. Like, y'all niggas can't come to events no more. <laughs> Listen, P the first line of defense. Y'all can say no to P. He ain't nobody. That nigga ain't nobody. That nigga is a replacement to Norbs. You see what Norbs was having? He ain't even signed with the company. You are rallying them can kick that nigga to the curb right now, and he is done. He's a done bun. He's None of you battle rapper niggas say something to me. I'm too. I'm serious too. I'm talking to him, and you niggas be sensitive, and I'm saying the truth. Leave me alone. I like most of y'all. It's no more. They can't be booked on cars no more. All for what? You know what I'm saying? Like they they use that shit. They'll try to use that shit as a shield. Like yo, you we, if you go over there, all right, I'll go even further, right? And this is just for me. I want to start with myself. Uh, so uh, I went to a King of the Dot event one time. Went to an event as a fan, mind you, you know what I'm saying? I seen that the event was coming, it was World Domination, Oxymoron, I thought it was a big thing. I was here for battle rap. I wasn't here for URL's little beefs between this league and that league. I don't give a fuck about that. That shit don't pay my bills, and quite obviously, you niggas weren't either. So I was like, man, I'm going to an RBE event. I go to an RBE event, I get texts, I get phone calls. Yo, you over there hanging with the Boy, ops, no the ops. This way. is 2017. Boy, ain't no I'm way, like, way. man, these niggas is bugging. Fuck that. Boy, so ain't I no way. went to an uh, RBE event, had drama because of that. Went to a King of the Dot event. When I go to a King of the Dot event, I'm getting phone calls. I'm getting, oh, you do this, you, you, you want. I was on the pay-per-view, as a matter of fact. The pay-per-view. It was a pay-per-view stream. They're doing little interviews. I grabbed a mic. I talked for a couple minutes. Went on about my way. Boy, when I came back, them niggas put together a plan. They thought I was going to be gone forever. But how did that work? How did that work? I'm glad to know that, nigga, it doesn't work like that. P, I already know. So when I see shit like text messages to Charlie Klebs, and all of this shit, y'all blocking Easy's car and telling battle rappers they can't come back over. I know all of that is true because that's just the shit you do. I don't have no issue with him. Like I said, all of these years later, I have spoke to P. We have no issues. I have no drama. But did he do a lot of sucker shit? Yes. Does he do a lot of sucker shit? Yes. I don't negotiate with terrorists. I don't negotiate with terrorists. I get that motherfucker a look. And you better freeze like a motherfucker. He does. That's just what he does. Everybody knows. The niggas that's in the industry, right? No, P do sucker shit. Period. That's just what it is. Like, you gotta, either you appreciate him, you cool with him, you don't fuck with him, but he gonna do some sucker shit to you. Like I told you, I just told this nigga, I have a son on the way. I gotta make this little extra bread so I can do, do, do. Nigga didn't give no fuck about that. He only gave a fuck about me recording on that channel, and I never did it again. That channel's not even around no more. It ain't even here no more. 
That's, you know what I'm saying? So, but it wasn't just P, you know what I'm saying? P did a lot of sucking shit. I've already explained, you know what I'm saying, the issues, that situations that I had with Norbs. We good now. I'm good with all of these niggas. So let's lead to, well, I mean, we ain't like friends and shit. Like, I ain't expecting no invite to the Christmas party and shit like that, but we ain't got beef, you know what I'm saying? I don't think so, but P, I gotta explain. I gotta have a preface to your sucker shit before I get into this. So, uh, the recruiter ball, and easy to block captain of going back and forth. You know what I'm saying? He was trying to block the battles. He got Holmesy to get off the card. He got Prep to get off the card. He got all these niggas to get off the card that's not even on contract. You hear the reasons why, you know what I'm saying? Uh, true foe. I got He's just a foe at all. The only reason I'm mad at foe is because foe, you called me. That's what niggas does not understand then. Like, I, yo, if y'all. <laughs> hey, foe. You called me, nigga. Like, I, I don't, I don't, how do you, bro, I didn't call you. You hit me, yo. If you could get me a plate over on Chrome, I got you. I said, yo, I'm about to do my own little situation. Come over there. And if shorty fucking with you, you'll be, your man shall give you such and such. A. Nigga, you called me. How the fuck do you break after calling me? That's the only part that I didn't, I didn't, and I don't give a fuck about no lucrative nothing, nigga. You can't call me for a favor and then break. That is crazy to me, bro. That is crazy to me. I never, I, yo, that's crazy to me. I'm like, yo, why nobody's keeping it a dollar? Like a bigger, more lucrative op, nigga. That shit sound crazy because you called easy. I didn't even know you get the you get the biggest L. I was gonna send this to the recruiter ball, but I'm gonna send this to the shy. I fuck with you and all, but you called him and then backed off the card because them niggas told you to do that shit. Man, you wild as fuck. Man. I don't know. I don't even know how you're gonna be able to paint that one in a positive light. You know what I'm saying? Like you called Easy. Easy didn't call you. So if you called him, you're supposed to be the first nigga that's like, yo, I'm going to take the battle anyway. Now, I understand that you want to be on URL. I understand you want your career to flourish. I want you to, you know what I'm saying? I understand all of that shit. I get it. But y'all was moving like y'all could do things that y'all couldn't do. All of y'all was moving like you could do things like y'all couldn't do. Prep, you know how shaky your career is. They wasn't even booking you over there. And them niggas may book you once or twice, but nigga, you ain't no staple over there. They not booking you like that. Holmesy, you want a whole tournament. Niggas is not booking you. I the two battles, and it's over for you too. You know they don't you know they don't fuck with you. You won the tournament. Why are you not around? Nigga, you not around. You won the tournament. You won a tournament, nigga. You won a fucking ultimate madness tournament, and we ain't seen you. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. The fuck is we talking boy, about? Boy, ain't no way, boy. And I already told you I had to uh, uh, opt for you. I was going uh, you know, to make sure you good. You my man. These niggas done done. done. You I've been said that you are not getting booked like that. They book niggas, newer niggas to better battles than you niggas that they known for two, three months. That shit was crazy. Easy was there for you. He booked you. He was going to have you in a situation. He was going to get you to get looks. You said fuck it. Once niggas called you and said, yo, daddy said you got to get back across the street. Y'all niggas did that shit. Y'all did it. You know what I mean? All of y'all. Swamp, I understand, but Swamp had some leverage. Easy spoke about it. He said Swamp had leverage. You, didn't, you wasn't in the contract. But I will respect the fact that Swamp didn't really go on like a campaign talking about it and shit like that. He just knew what it was. You know what I'm saying? It was like, yo, you're not battling over there. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? The, the recruiter ball went, went, went into overtime. He had to, though. His job, they was like, yo, you got to straighten this shit out. You got to get these niggas off this card. You got to get these niggas off this card by any means necessary. So when it comes to easy, I will say this. Uh, you're right in certain aspects, but you're wrong in others because you just automatically assume that everybody gets their information from P or from URL. A lot of us don't speak to the nigga. We do not talk to that nigga. Like I said, I don't got no beef with him. I just told you the fuck shit he did with me. So I don't have no beef with him. He's the nigga on the phone calling niggas behind the scenes and shit like that, trying to get niggas to conspire together to get rid of me. It happened. This shit is legitimate truth. I'm still moving off that premise. Tell me one lie I say in here, and we don't have to do this anymore. I don't got a single lie in this fucking blog. Everything is true. So, I know that this stuff happens. Trust me, I, I, I am one that has seen it, experienced it, got the t-shirt, and went on about my own fucking business. When I told niggas I ain't want to work with them no more, they tried to treat me like fucking Dr. Dre when he left goddamn NWA. You know what I mean? It just is what it is. Oh, he gotta go. But there ain't a single nigga who they kept around 
who they can say that that knows about this situation at the time will tell me I'm lying. Ain't none of them. So anyway, let's move on. So the recruiter ball is trying to block all of the battles and shit. He's getting niggas to fold on the first line of defense. Easy wasn't cool with that. Then he was talking about the favors. The favors. Favors been in line forever, bro. They will front load your contract with a lot of these big battles. That's why when you see a lot of these dudes that's getting these big battles, these big names early, you be like, why the fuck is he getting Charlie Clips and Rum Nitty and all these niggas first? It makes a lot of sense. You gotta pay the star, but you don't have to pay the person. The favor ball. We pay you 500. We'll fly you out here. We're out here for the weekend. You around us. They call it the opportunity. That's what it said. When I told PM niggas I wanted to get paid because I wasn't finna work for niggas for free when everybody else was, and they making money off the shit that we doing, they said it's the opportunity. We pay you with opportunity. No. Fuck your opportunity. I'd rather have my own channel, nigga. Now I can say whatever I want and bend that way. I don't want no opportunity, nigga. Fuck your opportunity. I go to whatever league I want. I'm gonna cover whatever card I want. And I'm gonna do a lot of the biggest numbers in this shit, and ain't nothing, none of you niggas over there gonna be able to do to stop it. I know that shit killed niggas. I know it. And I still recap URL battles, and gonna still recap them. All I need you niggas to do is drop some shit. That's all I need. I don't need nothing else from you niggas. Yes, sir! This nigga spitting. Damn, nigga! The recruiter ball then turns to the favor balls. They get the new MCs to battle all these niggas like Charlie Clips, DNA, Shaka, and shit. Give them all the big battles early. So then when you move on about a year or so from now, you done battled everybody. Now it's like, yo, we need some favors for the app. Yeah, them app battles, they don't make a lot of money. They, everybody knows that. The app, straight to the app battles, nope. <laughs> niggas might not even make $5,000. Same niggas that make 20 ain't making five on the app, so niggas turn down them shits. They don't want to battle on no battles that's going straight to the app. So then we get to the blocking situation. Um, I told Easy back in the day, I told him when this shit first started, I told him that I didn't think the car was going to go down. When, I, when, he, when he first... Told me what he was doing. I said to him, not after hearing from nobody, not after speaking to nobody, them niggas, we don't got no relationship. I don't got no beef, but we don't got no relationship. These niggas don't call me. I find out shit because people will call me, but they're not calling me. And I seen two real for battle rap salute to them. They said that they not speak, they never spoke to them niggas either. So easy, you gotta remember when you saying these, when you make these statements about what bloggers are getting their information and shit like that, you gotta kinda know because we don't speak to these niggas at all. I don't talk to these niggas at all. I probably ain't spoke to Beasley in some years on the phone and I definitely don't, I, and P has been months, so I ain't talked to that nigga. It's no beef like I said, hey, oh, 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 wait, 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 hey, niggas don't block my channel, get my shit taken down. Well, you can't block it, I ain't got no footage of y'all in here. So, he then asked about uh, you know, he talked about true false situation, he talked about Swamp, all the niggas that backed off the car. And he said he did it smart. He said he couldn't talk about them until he got his money back, which made a lot of sense because if you talk about a nigga before you get your money back, a nigga is not inclined to pay you. He'd be like, fuck it, I'm not going to pay this nigga. I'm not paying him. Why would I pay him? He just disrespected me. So I get it as to why waiting till you get your money back or most of your money back before you snap. But if y'all niggas know, this is what Easy do. Like Easy be snapping on niggas. Like like that's just his thing. Now, did Easy make mistakes? Of course he made mistakes. He believed the niggas who he didn't need to believe in. You believe? <laughs> you believe that a bunch of niggas who don't even most of them don't even really get booked. Holmes, yeah, I don't got an issue with you. You know, I was playing your battles when nobody else was. Say I'm lying. I was playing shit back when I was on Facebook. So I know I don't book the nigga like that. So he was easy to get off this card. Prep. He was even easier. He said that if he do it, I'm going to do it. The nigga said, if he do the battle, I'm going to do it too. You should not be putting your faith, your trust, your investment, and your money in a nigga that's going to say some shit like that. If he do it, I do it. If he not going to do it, I'm going to do it. He going to do it, I'm going to. You want this the nigga that you want to place the faith in your company in? No, get him the fuck out of here too. Easy. Don't book that nigga again. Don't book that nigga again. Easy. Do not book this nigga again. The nigga said that he would do the card if somebody else would do it. Not no man decision. Just if he do it, I do it. Don't book that nigga again. Remy, you too. Same shit. But Remy, not probably, I'm not going to book none of these niggas. I'm just saying. She ain't going to book none of them. But uh, let's keep it going. So the Hitman battle, it showed even more how... Niggas operate. Hitman is not battling on URL. Easy is not doing nothing that's not outside of his contract. Like, yo, it doesn't say you can't battle on Chrome 23. Remy is not an op. They have no business together. And Hitman is not battling on URL. And the nigga just told you he's trying to buy a house. He's trying to get to this bag. He making more money over here than he ever made with y'all. 
and you want to block it because of what? Like, you still, they still have yet, they said because it makes them look weak. No, nigga, all this shit that y'all doing makes you niggas look weak. Sending Charlie Clips text messages makes you niggas look weak. Trying to stop niggas from getting money that you wasn't giving them anyway makes you niggas look weak. You know what else makes you niggas look weak? Rewarding niggas or giving them bigger situations just to back off of another black owned business and they're not having a card the same day as you niggas. That shit makes you niggas look weak too, but you niggas don't see that shit because you only see things from one perspective. I get it. Right. So let's go further, right? So, um, you try to block the hate man battle easy, said no. I respected him saying no. What the fuck? Block what? I'm not gonna not battle because you niggas don't feel it. That shit sounds like a personal problem. The same way, like when I used to do shit like go to a King of the Dot event or RBE event. Nigga, I'm not signed to you niggas. I don't get paid by you niggas. You niggas don't pay my bills. Actually, you don't even want me to make money. You don't even want me to record on my own channel. Who the fuck do you niggas think you are as grown men to try to stop other niggas from getting money that you not paying them? Like, P, how long are you gonna do this shit? You're going to was 10 years of sucker shit. Y'all been doing this shit since 2000. When me and them that niggas had issues, it was 2015, 16, 17. We at 2023 and you niggas is still running these same plays? But the thing is that the internet is bigger now, more visibility. I probably have like 4,000 subscribers now. I got 80 now. This shit goes on the jumbo try. I know they hear about this shit and I know they watch it too. But guess what? I don't care because at the end of the day, the truth is the truth and the truth don't care who tell it. A lot don't care who tell it either. So we are supporting Easy's card. We are copping the pay-per-view. We are running the numbers up because they want him to fail. I could, I know they want him to fail. I know they want this to fail. Threatening artists? Threatening artists that you can't come back here simply for taking another situation. Niggas who don't rap. Stop a nigga's career who do rap because he wants to go rap somewhere for nine minutes and make a couple thousand dollars. I never see the problem in it. I always tell artists, invest in yourself. Invest in yourself. You gotta take a gamble, you gotta take a gamble. I'm like, fuck it, I'd rather take a gamble. That's why when it came to me, I'm like, nigga, I'd rather take a gamble on my own career and do my own thing than be around these niggas that don't wanna see you do good. They don't wanna see you, they pick and choose. Oh, we want this nigga to do good, we want him to do good. Nah, him, he can't do good. Nah, that, nah, nah. They do that shit. It's, 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 it's sad, you know what I'm saying? A lot of talented MCs get caught up in the shuffle. There's a lot of MCs that's caught up in the shuffle. Uh, Holmesy and, and Truffaut and all the swamp, all of them niggas was used as pawns. That's all it was. They was used as pawns. Yo, we'll give you a bigger battle, a better situation. Just don't do that card. Not because the league is illegal to battle on. Not because, you know, these niggas is in a contract. No, it's just because we don't like this nigga, so we want to make it as hard for him as possible. Now, I get it. And I respect it. And I hear behind the scenes, P don't give a fuck. He said he don't give a fuck about who knows and about how it goes. So if that's the reason why I said what I said today, because if he don't care, why should we care? We should not care. Why should we defend, hide, or embellish, or make some shit look better when we know that these niggas don't care anyway? If you don't care, then we can talk about it, right? Man, all right, cool. Hands is off, gloves is off. It's no beef, like I said, at the end of the day. But uh, I, 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 I've seen this movie before, is all I'm going to say. And it does anything that Easy said in his rant surprise me? No. Not a single thing. He didn't say one thing in his rant that surprised me. Now, though, like I said, the mistakes that he made was trusting niggas who could be who could be pulled up, bowled out the contract. As soon as daddy come, they gotta go. That's one thing. That was your biggest mistake, trusting niggas that on a word. You know what I'm saying? When as soon as they get the call, they backing out. And I will say this, right? Um, easy, easy, easy. When you say that the bloggers didn't know this and know that, bro. Every sing, mostly every single blogger that turned on the camera and spoke about it either heard something or either got word from another blogger or got word from an artist. Bro, these artists were very transparent. They were not hiding the fact that they were being pressured to get off this card and that they were getting off the card. The only person that, I mean, Danny was, Danny stood up, Riggs stood up. But, you know, URL doesn't have, like, a lot of investment in rigs, so they not going to go over there and offer this nigga a fucking five-battle deal with two first-round draft picks and a gnome just to get him off your card. They're not going to do that, you know what I'm saying, because they don't got a lot invested in him. Danny, Danny battles every week. He's probably having a battle right now. So we really, they could, really couldn't justify going after him. But everybody else, oh, clean sweep. 4-0, they, they swept you. 4-0. Holmesy, uh, Holmesy, True Foe, Swamp, Prep. Yeah, they 4-0. They swept you. They, they got them all off of this. So I think for the future, like I've said in the past, you got to get artists that are in the same realm that you got going on right now, the real deals, the people that won't give a fuck if URL calls them and tries to block them. You got to get those niggas. You can't get niggas that ain't never been on Summer Madness 
or niggas that ain't. I'm not saying Swamp. Swamp has been on some of the bigger cards, so I'm not saying him. But you can't go get niggas that ain't been on no volumes or no on no summer madness. Niggas that's not getting booked. Niggas, you can't go get them niggas. And I get booked. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So they they'll say. Yo, I'm not gonna take easy situation to do one battle a year and then lose my whole career. Yes, they're gonna say that. Yes, yes, yes. But at the end of the day, niggas took the bread. They took the bread. Why do you think that niggas took the bread and when Easy needed it back, it took niggas a couple days and shit like that? Cause some niggas was waiting on contracts. That's how that's how little these niggas be getting paid. They have to wait on a contract to give a nigga bread back. Yo, I gotta wait. I gotta get my next deposit. If I owe Easy a thousand dollars, I can pay that nigga back right now. Two, right now. Three, right now. Four, right now. Eight, right now. Ten, right now. I wouldn't want to give him ten today, but if I owed it to him, I could pay it. And I'm a fucking blogger. I don't rap. You see what I'm saying? So I mean, I do rap. You know what I'm saying? I got bars. But 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 well, you know what I mean. As a blogger, blog, and that, that's when they be saying that the bloggers be doing better than the battle rappers. Yo, all of these niggas in the P tier that he deal with, we getting the same money to talk about this shit, like. The app niggas, all these niggas, so we make the same money talking about them. And we don't have to go to any of those events because they try to do that shit. They try to make it, uh, you know, advantageous to them. Like, it's real clicky. I told y'all, it's real clicky, clicky, clicky. A lot of these other leagues, like, you go to RBE, you go to King of the Dot, you go to uh, Battle Academy, you go to Chrome. It just be battle rap for the experience. Everybody's there to experience. URL is really clicky, clicky, clicky. If you're not on the in crowd, if you're not in the click, 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 you're not going to be on the list. You're going to do that. So that's why people be asking me why I don't go. I'm like, my nigga, I'm not going to fly to another state, get a hotel and a rental car to be treated like a second class citizen by some niggas whose ass I'm not going to kiss. Throw your battles, we'll watch them on TV, and that's just the way it's going to be. I ain't got no time for it. You know what I'm saying? But um, easy, good way to bounce back. Great promotion. This is great promotion for what you got going on. The Rap Grid link, the pay-per-view link are in the pinned comment. If you support what this man got going on, a uh, black business that's getting sabotaged by a uh, black business. You know what I'm saying? They do that. They always put this black business black. They don't give a fuck about nobody but them. That's all they care about. They don't give a fuck about nobody. That's why I said Easy was mad when his music wasn't getting promoted, when his Peacock series wasn't getting promoted, when he was all of this shit, the Fresh Prince Super Bowl. They wasn't promoting that shit because it wasn't about it's only about them. They don't give a fuck. You could go be on the goddamn, you can go do the national anthem. You can go fucking play in game five at the NBA Finals. If that shit don't got nothing to do with them, they're not gonna promote that shit. Um, so y'all just gotta know it's fans. You just gotta know who you dealing with. You know what I'm saying? Niggas who's willing to release text messages, call niggas behind the scenes, set up this, tell niggas to back out, not give a fuck about whether your kids eat or not because it's all about them. These are the niggas that you deal with. Entertaining battles, but this is the fuck shit you're gonna deal with behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? That's why a lot of niggas don't be liking to deal with these niggas. I remember just get phone calls. Yo, they said, yo, yo, this person wasn't liking that blog you made. Yo, you gotta get the, the, the blog. The blog. I never took one down for the record. I ain't never took a blog. I ain't give a fuck about what these niggas was talking about. But they used to do that shit. Yo, 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 yo we not letting you in the event. All type of goofy shit like that. I told you it comes down even came down to the bread. Niggas told me, yo, you can't make no money. You can make money for us. But you can't make no money for yourself. That's that pimp hoe syndrome. I'm going to take care of you. You're going to be my hoe. I'm not going to pay you. But daddy going to take care of you. I could not. I was like, you niggas is bugging. Get me as far away from these niggas as possible. And that's the reason why it's been the way it's been. Keep dropping battles. We're going to keep recapping them. But I'm never going to pretend like the situation is what it ain't. So easy to block, Captain. Uh, salute to you. Salute to the favor ball. Salute to the recruiter ball. Salute to all of them niggas. I ain't got no be <laughs> Things at all, but we definitely gonna laugh about this shit. We had to. We gotta laugh. What? It's promotion and it pays, so we're gonna get paid. It's just the way it goes. Other than that, man, salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let that get too far ahead of you. We will be supporting Easy's car. We will be copying the pay per views. Whoever could be, whoever can't be there, whoever want to go, you know, what I'm saying the ticket link is in the description too. Um, Gnome Impact and all of that when it comes up, certain battles we'll make sure that we speak about them and shit like that, we'll recap shit too. Like, it's never a change. Like, I looked at it like, this is just business. It's not, I remove my personal feelings once niggas show me how their hands go. I'm like, all right, cool. It's not even about my personal feelings no more. It's just about recapping and getting to this bread. You know what I mean? But, uh, P, man, we going on 10 years of this shit, man. You gotta find, you gotta find another way to be more effective, man. Cause this shit that y'all doing is not it. Not it! But y'all got it! Keep on entertaining, man. You know what I'm saying? Keep on. Keep on the entertainment, man. I love it. One.